welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel the structure and the functional um unit of the kidney here we are talking about the nephron kidneys are highly complex filtration organs they bring about they bring about filtration filtration like the wastes are being taken out of the blood so through the process of filtration its functional unit is called a nephron we'll ask you this question the functional unit of uh, a kidney is called it's called a nephron nephrons are microscopic coiled structures made up of tubes atrios capillaries and the ducts coiled structures like the gremolas made up of tubes if you look at the loop of henry look at atrios which bring blood and takes blood capillary basically is absorption ducts is very important during the collection so we will see all these parts the main function is to filter blood so that um reduce the waste water and the other important substances that are needed by the body so it means that these important substances are not being lost through the urine and then the waste products are being lost through the urine leaves the blood very clean so the nephron is divided into two. You have what called the Malpighian body, and then the renal tubule. Malpighian body is that part, uh, the upper part of the the nephron, while the uh, the renal tubules are the lower part of the the nephron. So this is where it's like the head of the nephron. If it is a, a human being, the head. From the neck upper part is what called the Malpighian body, and then the remaining part becomes the renal tubule. This part, which called the Malpighian body, and then the rest becomes the renal, the renal tubule. There are some specific features which you need to know on this uh, nephron. Know that when the blood comes, it comes with the afferent arterioles, afferent arterioles. Then the afferent atrios branches to form uh, a sieve, to form a sieve, to form uh, a sieve is something which um, allows some substance to go through and others want to go through. So it forms a sieve. That sieve, is those branches form what's called a gramellus, where filtration occurs. Then the outside part of the gramellus is what's called a Bowman's capsule. It's like a cup just to hold, to bring about um this filtration to happen so when filtration occurs it goes into the granular space the capsular space the capsule space or the uh, bowman's capsule then uh now the filtration will occur it has this coiled part this first coiled part is called the proximal convoluted tubule proximal convoluted tubule then it goes down as it's going because it's going down once, then it's called descending. So it becomes the descending limb. Descending limb. Yes. And then the one which goes up is called ascending. So this is the descending limb. This is ascending limb. So the descending limb and ascending, if all, all this part is combined, we call it loop of Henley. So now this it has some blood vessels which surrounds this just to allow the reabsorption and excretion or pumping the ions into reabsorption to take place. So it allows reabsorption to take place. And then also ions which are not important in the blood be pumped out of the blood into uh, the loop of Henry. Then it continues. It has the second coil. The second coil uh, is what's called the distal computed tubule. This convoluted tubule. This disconnected tubule joins what called a collecting duct, where the urine uh, is being uh, collected from before it joins the pelvis. So uh, basically, uh, this is the structure of the kidney. You need to know these parts. At least you need to know how to label it. So what are some of the functions of the parts of this nephron? Number one, we are saying that the function of the parts of the nephron. Number one. Nephron, as it's nephron, is, 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 is the functioning of the kidney. You have to know that. It has what's called the podocytes. These are specialized cells lining the, uh, uh, the Bowman's capsule. So if you look at it here, you'll find out that the cells which lines here, we call them 
um, podocytes. Then you have what's called apparent atrios. This one brings blood. In most cases, uh, this one brings blood into the kidney. It, it, it branches from the renal artery. That's why we call them atrios, the apparent atrios. So these um, atrios are very important in bringing blood. This blood has a lot of uh, wastes. But uh, this atrio is a little bit bigger compared to efferent. So what's the difference? This is apparent atrios, while this one is efferent atrios. The difference is by E and A. E, this one starts with the A, this one starts with the E. So efferent atrios, this blood vessel taking blood from the glomerulus. So after filtration has taken place, then the blood vessels, these blood vessels take the blood away from the glomerulus. Then you have the glomerulus, this is the dense capillary network in the Bowman's capsule. It's, it's, it's the, when the, the, the atrio comes, it, it branches into small branches. I told you that it looks like a sieve. Yes, if you look at a sieve, this is how uh, the, the glomerulus uh, looks like. Then you have what you call the Bowman's capsule. This is a, a cup shape. It's like it allows substance to be hold. Yes. So cup shape structure surrounding the glomerulus. So if you look at it here, you'll find out that it's like a cup. It's like a cup. So it surrounds the what? Um, the glomerulus. Then you have the Malpighian barrier. This one is, 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 is made up of the glomerulus plus the Bowman's capsule. This is the Malpighian barrier. This one, yes. So this part, the Bowman's capsule, and then the glomerulus, when you combine them, they form the Malpighian barrier. Then you have the proximal complete tubule. We we'll talk about proximal complete tubule. It's the folded portion of the nephron that lies between the Bowman's capsule and the loop of Henry. Uh, here we are talking about uh, this uh, called, it is Bowman's capsule and the loop of Henry is what called the proximal converted tubule. Then you have the distal converted tubule for the portion of the nephron between the loop of Henry and the collecting duct. So here is the collecting duct. Yes, and then here's the loop of Henry. So this fold is what you call the distal converted tubule. So basically, uh, that's it. You should be able to answer these questions. Now, at least you have to, to know how to label each and every part of this. Don't go to the exam without uh, knowing such uh, structure. This is the structure of the Malpighian barrier. This is what I've been trying to uh, explain that this is the efferent vessel, takes away blood. This is the efferent vessel, brings blood. Bowman's capsule, this, this is the Bowman's, it's Bowman's capsule is the whole thing here. It's like a cup, and then this is a glomerulus. Glomerulus comes and then branches. Then uh, this structure then is what called the Malpighian uh, capsule. You have the renal tube, you have the tubes here, and then this is the what called the capsula space, capsular space, the space of the Bowman's capsule. That's what's called a capsular space. Then now after filtration, then this one's go down. This podo, this is the cells which call the podocytes. If you look at them, yes, so they allow substances to go through, go through so that they join what's called a capsular space. So you have to know how to label, name and label this structure. So next time we look at formation of uh, urine in the body. How does urine form?